Do you want to mine with your CPU on your Windows machine and you don't know how? Let me quickly show you how you're going to do this. So let's get started. As you can see, we are currently on the GitHub page of Xamrig. Xamrig, for all of you who don't know what this is, is basically a piece of software that you can use to mine with your CPU on your Windows, Linux, or whatever else machine you're gonna use to mine with your CPU a couple of different cryptocurrencies that are CPU or GPU mineable. So for this example, we will use the latest version of Exembrick. Therefore, you can click on the releases on the right uh, hand side here. Click on this, scroll all the, day, all the way down, and in here you will find all different types of folders that you can download. Just search for the operating system that you are gonna be using. In my example, I am using Windows, so the Win64 is the zip file that I'm gonna need. I have downloaded this, and after you have downloaded this, what you need is to extract this file. I've also done this, and then you will find yourself in a folder with all those different types of files in here. Before we can start, I need to say that you need to be aware that your Windows machine is basically not allowing XM Rig to function. So if you want to start it, you need to allow your Windows Defender to execute this. It's not a big deal, but if you use any other antivirus software, you either need to deactivate the software or you need to make a rule that this piece of software xmrig.exe is allowed and it's allowed to establish an internet connection. So. Now that I've told you that you need to be aware of this, we can actually start jumping into the configuration.json file. Therefore, we need to open this and you can do this with either the editor or with Notepad++. I use Notepad++. And in here, we will find plenty of things that we can configure. I will quickly explain a couple of things and then we will start into the configuration to mine with it for mon mining Monero. So the first thing that we see is CPU and in here you can see uh, there is the, the enabled and it's set to true. There are also OpenCL and CUDA and both of them are set to false. OpenCL is for AMD GPUs and CUDA is for NVIDIA GPUs. So if you plan on mining with your GPUs, you can activate this just by changing the false from this enabled uh, line here to true and then it will actually start using your GPUs as well. But be aware if you mine something like Monero and you try to mine with your GPU, Monero, it is not really profitable and the hash rate is quite low due to the fact that Monero is designed to be mineable by CPU. But yeah, if you have like 100 GPUs laying around and you have free electricity, you could also mine with your GPU, but I do not recommend this really. So what we need to do then is we need to change a couple of things. In the algorithm, there is normally nothing and you need to put in uh, the symbols and then rx slash zero. Don't forget these uh, column marks or whatever they're called in English. For the coin, I need to put in null. It should be able that, that you can put in Monero or the, the coin name, uh, but for this, Example, I use null for the URL. I currently use my own pool that I am hosting here at home um, and I'm testing around with this. But if you want to mine to a pool, for example, hero miners or anything else, you need to put in a stratum plus TCP double point slash slash and then the actual URL of this pool that you want to mine to and double point and then the port number. Um, yeah, so let me quickly delete this. Down below this, we can see the user. So what you want to do here is basically put in your Monero mining address or the mining or the, the, the coin address for the specific algorithm that you want to mine. Maybe you want to mine uh, Reptorium, then you need to put in your Reptorium wallet address. And at the end, you could put in a point test test one maybe like I do here and this will be the broker name for the password you choose X or if you have set up a password for this specific miner then you can change this as well what we want to do then is we want to save this and afterwards we can click on the start.cmd 
and this will open a new a new window and as you can see it is starting right away and it is connecting and as you can see we get accepted chairs to my pool as you also can see we initialize the data set with all 12, uh, 12 threads of my cpu but i'm only using 10 cpu cores to my to this to explain to you how to how you can change the number of cpu cores that you want to use for mining with your cpu you just go back into your config.json file scroll a little bit up and in here you see the rx and your cpu cores are counted up from the zero so if you have 12 cores it would be something like uh, this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and this is the number of cores that we want to use so all the cores from 0 to 11 those are all my 12 cores but i just want to use 10 cores so i just delete the 11 and the 10 then i save this and then we can start this uh, start.cmd again and then you just utilize 10 cpu cores instead of all cpu cores yeah i think that's it for today's video a quick explanation on how to use xmrig on, on windows i hope you guys liked it if you do so give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on further videos thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one